in this video we will look at system of inequalities so there is an important note first the coefficient of y must be positive before shading the region so for example you can look at this example x minus y must be greater than 2 you notice that the y is in negative form so this is negative y so what we have to do is next let's say x minus y is greater than 2 so what i need to do is first next i will move negative y to the right hand side and positive 2 to the left hand side so it will become x minus 2 is greater than y or we can write as y is less than x minus 2 you can see that the open here is based on x minus 2 so the the vertex here is based on is pointed to the y so y is less than x minus 2 our y must be in standard uh, is in positive form next we look at 2x minus 3y is less than or equals to 6 so again you can see here our y is in negative so what i have to do is we must make sure that our y is positive so next is 2x so this is 2x minus 3y less than or equals to 6 so what i have to do is i move negative 3y to the right hand side positive 6 to the left hand side so i should have 2x minus 6 is less than or equals to positive 3y so or i can write in the form of 3y is greater or equals to 2x minus 6 again you can see that here is pointed to 2x minus 6 same as it is form is pointed to 2x minus 6 you can simplify or you can write in this form so the most important thing is our y must be positive next if the inequality sign is less than or equals to or greater or equals to means that it's included here you can see that this this sign is included then the line is a solid line so here is the solid line so if the sign is included then the line is a solid line next if the inequality sign is less than or equal or greater than so this is not included if the inequality sign is not included then the line is a dotted line so you can here see here is the dotted line so we will start to answer the question by finding the x intercept and y intercept by building this table so this is when x is zero we try to find a value of y same as when y is equal to zero we try to find the value of x So next we will look at shading the region. So how are we going to shade? So first, let's look at example one, x less than x. So since this symbol, so y less than x, you can notice that this symbol is not included. So if the equality sign is not included, so we're going to use dotted line. So therefore, here you can see that our line is a dotted line. And this is y is equals to x. In this uh, video or in this topic, shading the region, we just concentrate on how we're going to shade the region. Later on, we will look at how we're going to plot the graph. So first you can see that y is less than x and our y is positive less than then the shaded region is less than below that line so this is less than next we look at the second example y is greater than x again this is not included so our line is a dotted line so you can see here in our graph our line is the dotted line if greater than so the shaded region will be above the graph so you can see this is our shaded region so this is below the graph for less than 
and above the graph for greater than. Next, we move on to another example. So in example two, you can notice here, first our y is in, uh, our y is in negative form. So what I do is, I move negative y to the right hand side, and positive one to the left hand side. So what I have to do is, next I move negative y to become plus y, and I move positive one to the left hand side, so it's minus one. So our graph, uh, our equality is x less x minus one is less than or equals to y, or I can write in the form of y is greater or equals to x minus one. So again, this is included. So it's a solid line. So you can see our line is solid line. So y is greater or equal to x minus 1. So suppose that our shaded region is above the graph. So you can see here, above the graph. Next, same as this. Actually, both of the questions are the same. The only difference here is this is less than, this is greater than. Again, next I move negative y to the right hand side. So here I should have 1 plus y. And then I move negative uh, positive 1 to the left hand side. It will become x minus 1. So you can see here x minus 1 is greater or equals to y. Or I can write in the form of y is less than or equals to x minus 1. You can see actually these both inequality are the same. You can see this inequality sign is pointed towards y. Same as this one. So this is pointed toward y. So y is less than. So less than, suppose the shaded region is below the graph. So here is below the graph. Next, we look at example 3. x less than 2. So less than, and this symbol is not included. So our graph is a dotted line. So x less than 2, so this is our line. This is the value of x. x is 0, x is 1, x is 2. So x equals to 2 is a vertical line. So for less than, means that we I'm going to shade the left hand side. So here is the shaded region, left hand side. So for x greater or equals to 2, so this is included. That's why our line is a solid line. You can see here, here is solid line. So it's greater or equals to 2. So greater, suppose, is right-hand side. So here is the shaded region. Next, we move on in, uh, to example 4. Y less than or equals to negative 3. So Y is equal to negative 3 is here. Here is negative 3. So less than, suppose is below the, uh, below the graph. So if greater than, so this is not included. That's why this here we have a dotted line. Greater than, above the graph. So in next video, we will look at how we're going to plot the graph.